They tried to do it. They tried to kill Trump. If you haven't seen the news, there was an assassination attempt to harm President Donald Trump at a rally in Pennsylvania. Take a look at this clip from Saturday afternoon. That chart, that chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Let me get my shoes on. Hold that in your head. It's bloody. So we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes on. Okay, my shoes down. Watch out. Wait, wait, wait. As the news of what happened is being reported, the suspected gunman was killed by Secret Service agents, and Trump came out with an official statement of his own saying that he was indeed struck by a bullet on the ear. It goes without saying that Trump is one of the most polarizing figures in this country. Some people love him and others hate him. As we get closer to the elections this November, the tension will only continue to rise. We have become a country overwhelmed by political agendas, a corrupt media, and a system on the verge of collapse. While we see all of this chaos unfolding before our eyes, it's easy to forget that there is a very important element to everything that's going on that we cannot afford to ignore. What I'm talking about is the spiritual side to this world. Don't think for two seconds that the devil doesn't have his hand on what's going on in this nation and society. He is very involved and very active in the government and in the mainstream. It's the enemy who tries to persuade people like this shooter at Trump's rally with perverse thoughts to go out and commit vile acts. And as disheartening as it may be, we should only anticipate more brazen acts like this as we move forward to Super Tuesday. The enemy is influencing men and women of every age, race, and color to further its wicked and evil plans, but it's the job of every believer out there to be just as vigilant to disarm the enemy through prayer and through the name of Jesus Christ. The greatest action that we can take when it comes to this election, to the state of our country, and to our own well-being is to pray. Prayer works. It is the most powerful weapon that we have access to in life. When we ask for God's will to be done in Jesus' name, it changes the whole dynamic of what we're praying for or against. We have the authority through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to call things down from heaven and to tread on serpents and scorpions, which is another way of saying demons and demonic activity. If we fail to pray against what's happening in our lives, or if we fail to combat the attacks the enemy throws our way, it could be a matter of life and death. I believe that Trump is a prime target of the enemy. You don't have to like Trump on a personal or even a political level, but I believe that God is using Trump in certain instances to hold back the forces of evil that are clearly at work. While politics cause so much division, and as we live in a world with so much uncertainty, now is the time to come together in prayer and as a united body in Christ to pray for God's will to be done in our lives and in our country. Take time to pray for Donald Trump. Take time to pray for President Biden. Pray that God's will be done in all things. The stakes are very high and your voice matters. Your prayers matter in Jesus' name. And I want to leave you with this verse from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, which I think is as relevant today as when God first spoke these words to Solomon. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you agree with what we're saying and want to stay connected with what we're doing here, then please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos with family and friends. As always, keep fighting a good fight of faith and have a blessed day.